Yo, what up, Street Gods? Eric Kim. All right, some uh, turbo thoughts for you. So this turbo thought is cholesterol is a steroid. So it's funny nowadays. The the bias in uh, health nutrition, whatever, is that like uh, you know, just consume more protein, right? Like the more protein you consume, the more muscular gains you will get, etc. Um, however, I think the reason why this line of thinking is so uh, myopic and nearsighted is that I don't think actually all protein and uh, is created the same. And I bet you 50 years, 100 years, maybe 300 years from now, we'll actually find out that maybe it's cholesterol, not not protein, which builds uh, muscle, muscle mass, uh, etc. So... I think the reason why we cannot trust nobody, especially people who are just, you know, plant-based bodybuilders or athletes or whatever, is that they're all on the juice too, right? Like uh, Patrick Bohemian or Patrick D or something is the, like the infamous, uh, or highly noted, like whenever people always tell me, it's like, oh, you know, you could get super duper strong just eating, you know, soy and vegetables and tofu, blah, blah. Uh, and they always uh, quote him. But people, it's so funny. People tend to think it's like, they're like, they cannot imagine the fact that somebody might be all natural plant-based diet and be taking steroids. It's kind of a, a non-concept uh, to them. So for example, um, the also kind of a similarly speaking, um, people cannot imagine And then, um, <laughs> so that's why I was at the gym the other day. And then, you know, I was, uh, I met this, uh, I met this one girl who does, um, you know, like two plate squad. And I was, I was talking to her and it's like, oh, do you compete? And she's like, do you compete? And then I said, I just do yoga. <laughs> um, after attempting to rack plate, rack pull six plates in a, and 20 pounds on each side but anyways so it's it's funny is that like um people tend to like maybe like kind of sequester or kind of silo off certain things so for example once again it's hard to imagine that somebody does calisthenics or yoga and does steroids or testosterone injections implants etc um so we got to be more like uh suspicious of everybody right so for example the dude who's super duper swole just eating pea protein powder whatever right does he do the juice maybe maybe not i don't know right yeah. um and so i think uh you know it's interesting because that was everyone's like cholesterol is bad and saturated fat is bad it's gonna cause you a heart attack da -da -da. um It's interesting. Cholesterol is, uh, it just means it's like a substance inside meat, right? Fleshy meat, red meat uh, specifically. Um, and you know, after doing a lot of research on it, cholesterol, sterols, um, After doing a lot of research on it, it's like, what is cholesterol? Da, 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 sterol, da, da, steroid. So it's, it's it's my theory that actually cholesterol is the is the natural steroid, right? Um, so you know, don't inject yourself with testosterone or protein powders or um, protein powder. I'm sure it's it's probably fine. Um, like steroids or whatever. It's a uh... 
I believe that cholesterol is a natural steroid. So if you want more muscular gains, whether it be, you know, getting getting more swole or to to become stronger at the gym, I just say eat more cholesterol, right? Like, um, and actually the interesting thing is I'm um, doing some research on this, right? The predators, whenever they kill the the animals, what is it they always eat first and prefer? It's always the the, the organ meats, right? The, the liver, the heart, intestines, etc. And so, um, you know, whenever you have the chance, try to eat as much organ meats as possible. And then if you actually look at it, organ meats actually have the highest number of cholesterol, right? Um, it's interesting too, because like people are like, oh, stop eating red meat, stop eating red meat, right? Nobody ever talks about uh, organ meats, right? So like, Like, you know, Bill Gates ain't telling people stop eating beef liver or beef heart or entrails, right? And so if you have the option, like, eat more beef heart, beef liver, intestines, etc. Even if you get all you get Korean barbecue, unfortunately, most of it tends to be marinated. But the liver, the heart, stuff like that, the small intestine tend to actually be uh, the most delicious. Even um, Korean people, like Ajishis, right? Like the middle-aged Korean men. They love to eat something called gopchang, which is essentially the small beef, small intestine. They like to cook it. It tastes really good. They typically like to da uh, down it with soju. Um, but yeah, like even back in the day, um, bodybuilders used to consume tons of liver, right? And even made like liver supplements or whatever. It's kind of gone out of vogue. And people say it don't taste good, but on the contrary, I think it tastes delicious. Um, I think it's just like people's like... Uh, I don't know, maybe their taste is not as uh, developed or exquisite um, theory. So, yeah, so as a general thought, become a little more critical, eat more cholesterol. Cholesterol is good.